my let's play of Bloody Platinum. This is the final episode, and you'll notice I moved a few steps from down there to here. Uh, I actually did continue off, but uh, I had to stop because my volume was being a bit, a bit weird, and my sound wasn't too awesome. And I want everything to be just perfect for this final showdown with Cynthia that we have. Okay, Mount Coronet, she thanks us for this, blah blah blah. It's time to battle Cynthia, but first we're just gonna listen to this beautiful melody that you get to listen to in the beginning of the battle with uh, Cynthia. You guys probably can't hear it too well, but I can hear it perfectly fine. You guys can't hear it too well because you're having to listen to it over my voice, but uh, whatever. Now we're going over to the battle. And now that I think about it, I should have closed my door. But, oh well, it's time for the final showdown here. Six on six Pokemon battle. Maddie's got a burn, as you can see. Groudon, ground type Pokemon. Legendary deity. Not a deity, it's not a deity. It's a legendary Pokemon, though. Groudon gets a stab on Earthquake, and something tells me I'm going to be facing an Earthquake. So I'm going to switch over to Sebi, because I don't think it'll be using, uh, what do you call it? Stone Edge on Sebi because Sebi, er, I don't even know what I'm saying. I just know he's not gonna use Stone Edge. Okay, I I, th I saw the earthquake coming. I dodged it. Simple as that. Because the sun is up from Shadow Groudon, Shadow Groudon. Uh, I'm gonna guess a Stone Edge. So I'm gonna actually gonna switch over to Pimp right now. Even though in the sun my fire water type attacks aren't that powerful, I figure it's a lot better than doing nothing. And this is actually what I was seeing the other time. Yep, I saw that my prediction skills are still awesome. So, I was watching this video on YouTube, and it was actually this. This guy was battling Groudon with his Pokemon. Oh, god dang it, that's gonna hurt. With his Pokemon, and his Grovile was getting his butt kicked by uh, Groudon. And I was thinking, dude, you need... Not a Grovile, but dude, you need a uh, Empoleon, or something like that. I remember it's something like that. Torrent just activated, so my attack is going to be very strong now. And Groudon will now kneel before me in my power and whatnot. And guys, just imagine how bad I would be at this if I wasn't overleveled. Awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to heal up or something. Yep, I called it. That was very predictable. But unfortunately, this means that Pimp is going to get KO'd very soon. Groudon is a fast Pokemon. It's not meant to be fast, but compared to my... Pimple up, it's pretty fast, which is very, very unfortunate for me. I'm going to get KO'd unless I switch out, so I'm going to switch out to Matty, or Sebi, because Sebi has Intimidate, and I actually got two Intimidates off on this guy, so uh, his Stone Edge won't be doing that much damage to me. Actually, it'll hit for neutral now, because super effective cut in half is neutral, I think. And the sun is still blazing hot and whatnot. Oh, jeez, how am I going to take out Kyogre? Because I have no Grass-type on my team. Oh, wait, Magnezone. I should be able to get some damage off on him. Maybe not. Oh, well. As long as it doesn't have a Water Spout, I should be good. Ow, that hurt like crap. Not really. I took that pretty well, thanks to those Intimidates. And the 12 levels of being overleveled. So, I'm gonna go for a Dragon Claw and finish off this Groudon, and then I'll be switching out to Holes, because something to- No, actually I'll switch out to Magnezone, because I think Kyogre is coming up next. And, wow, that was pretty tough. Rayqua- <laughs> Oh, man. I am screwed, and I like it. That's kind of awkward. I'm gonna go over to Holes because Holes has experience with Rayquazas, being that in the stone, in the ghost pillar place, the Rayquaza there wasn't able to KO us, and this Rayquaza isn't that much stronger than it, so we should be fine. But first I'm gonna go for a Stone Edge after getting Earth- oh jeez, I'm gonna get KO'd right there. Yeah. That is times too effective, that's gonna hurt, like, a crap load. And I know I'm pretty bulky, and my defense is high, and I'm overleveled, but- Wow, I took that pretty well. If we were equally leveled, I would take that to half HP. This should be an OKO. And once again, I failed to capture a Rayquaza. 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 Whatever you call it. I failed to capture it again. Sad face. Okay, with that done, mm, I think Kyogre's coming up next, which is a bad thing. 
No, Deoxys. Deoxys isn't going to be able to hit me for too much damage because... Well, it's a Psychic type, and my special defense is amazing. Not really. My special defense is crap. Next to crap even. Oh, Psycho Boost. That's going to kill me off right here. But, on a good note, it's going to drop his special attack into half, which is pretty good. So, after getting KO'd by... Uh, wait, that's not going to kill me, is it? I survived. I survived. I survived. I survived. 1 HP. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome! And I missed. That's not awesome. That is not awesome at all. Well, because the special attack fell, I'm probably going to survive the next hit for no matter how much damage it does. So I'm going to use a full restore right now and heal up Deoxys. I can't even heal my... I can't even hear my own voice over the noise of the music, which is... It's either a sign saying that I'm being quiet, or you guys can hear me, it's just that my ears are closer to the music than they are to my mouth? What? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, another Psycho Boost, but this one shouldn't do more than half HP because I'm pretty sure that I'm bulky enough to survive a Deoxys' Psycho Boost at half power, which is not that bad. Yep, called it. I survived. Awesome. And the next Psycho Boost isn't even going to do any real damage, so I should just KO him right now with uh, Stone Edge. Yeah, this is Deoxys in speed form, which isn't that powerful, and I'm not sure why he didn't do Energy Ball earlier. That just goes to show that uh, the AI in the computer, artifi artificial intelligence, or not the computer, but in the Pokemon game, it's still not that high. Seriously, you could have KO'd me with a grass type attack earlier, but why would you use Psycho Boost? It's strange, but uh, whatever. Okay, so... They have Mewtwo. That's gonna hurt. That is going to hurt a crap load. So I'm gonna go over to Maddie. Uh, I hope Maddie doesn't get KO'd by Mewtwo because Mewtwo is a dangerous, dangerous Pokemon. I'm not even kidding. Mewtwo's move pool, while it's not as huge as Mew's, it's still lethal, and those stats it's got are amazing. So I'm gonna go for. Ouch, that's gonna hurt. Oh crap, my bug typing does not cancel that out, does it? Oh, and the phone goes off. That's just perfect. I turned off the ringer, but I get KO'd. Hey, I survived. That's awesome. I think uh, that's only because I'm overleveled, so... If we were on equal footing, I would have lost the battle. Who was that on the phone? I'm not sure. They didn't pick up. Oh, well. Uh, Mewtwo gets KO'd because Maddie is burnt, and she's all pissed off and stuff. She's like, Grr, I'm mad. I'm gonna beat you now. And then Mewtwo's like, No, don't do it! And then you defeated Mewtwo, which was awesome. Oh, and the sun is still shining. No sign of Kyogre. Oh, but on a sadder note... Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Arceus? God dang it. I'm gonna go over to somebody like Miltank, because Arceus probably doesn't have any dangerous plate on it. Because if it did, that would be very unfortunate for myself. I would get KO'd. Freaking Arceus! Hooray! It's... got... what? What? It has the normal plate on it or something? I'm not sure what plate it has, but the phone keeps ringing, and I'm not going to pick up because I'm busy. Okay, wait, do I have any statuses on my Pokemon? Of course I do, and I like them that way. I'm not going to use any healing item. Ouch, that hurts. Okay, this is Arceus with a Thunder Plate, I think. Or it's Arceus with Normal Plate and nothing at all. And he gets paralyzed on me because Thunder has got a 30% paralyzing chance. But so does Body Slam, so I'm hoping I can get paralyzed on him. Nope, no paralyze on my part. Sad face. Something tells me I should probably heal up another person in my party because this is going to hurt a lot. Blizzard's not going to freeze me or anything, and I'm going to actually pause the recording right here. Alright, what you guys missed was kind of nothing. He hit me with another elemental attack. I'm not sure which one, actually. I was kind of busy because I had to turn off the recording for a second. And I used Body Slam, so it's kind of we're head-to-head -head even. My overpowered Miltank versus the god of all Pokemon, and... Although Arceus is claimed to be the god of all Pokemon, it's not actually the god of all Pokemon. Arceus is actually just the original one, as in the first one who created everything afterwards, so it's not actually the god of Pokemon, because obviously Arceus is like a Jesus. A Jesus? Who is that? <laughs> Arceus is like the son of the god of all Pokemon, technically, because Arceus is the first one that was created from nothingness. And nothingness would be, have to be the god of Pokemon or something like that. 
some kind of random mythical mythological mumbo jumbo that you guys probably would have discovered if you played bloody platinum normally but hey i learned something right even though it like throughout the whole series it just showed me playing this game playing no attention to all that and then you guys just hear me blurt that out and you're just like the heck but no you're not actually like that so um i'm gonna go for another body slam i'm not sure why they haven't used a full restore I just did, and I'm pretty sure I would've if I was Arceus. Sweet critical hit, awesome. I just got a critical and defeated Arceus, the original one. Original one. Origin. Huh, that's funny how, uh, hey it's Kyogre, finally. That's funny how, uh, Giratina is the origin Pokemon, but Arceus is the original Pokemon, like the first one. And it's Kyogre, and if it's choice specs and has water spout, I am screwed, but it, since it's not, and since it doesn't, I should be fine. Kyogre isn't actually as bulky as I thought it was, but it's still pretty tough. Oh, hey, it doesn't have water spout, that's pretty awesome. Uh, now it's just gonna go for a surf, and that's gonna hurt. Ouch, sad face. That's gonna KO me. That is an amazing Pokemon right there. Truly amazing, but uh, I think I'll st stay in for this and go for another Body Slam. I know this will probably hurt Miltank and ca cause her to feel some severe pain and be paralyzed. Er, uh, surfed. But it was for the best because... Actually, no, that was totally unnecessary and I apologize to my Miltank because I shouldn't have done that. So we're going to switch out to um, uh, Sebi. Yeah, Sebi. Actually, KFC hasn't seen any action during this whole video. So I'm going to use KFC now. Alright. This Let's Play is about to end in about three, two... Okay, a countdown. <laughs> I have one discharge left. How fitting. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And the Let's Play will end now. Well, more likely, this is the last actual trainer battle I'll have in this Let's Play. We are officially done with the game, almost. We have defeated Cynthia. We are now the most powerful trainer in all of Sinnoh, which is one of the many regions in Pokemon. And eventually, someday, they'll have so many regions in Pokemon that becoming a champion is totally worthless. But until then, this title is worth something. Being the champion in Sinnoh is worth something for now. Wow, that was a mouthful. Okay, we are done, and there's no music playing. We're just in this dark, creepy room that it didn't, that they did not change. Cynthia's happy, which is kind of nice. Hey, now we get to go up to what is that? That is that looks pretty cool. I never saw that before. A red carpet. That's awesome. Or is the floor see-through? Well, wow, that's even awesomer. And now for my favorite part of every Pokemon game. It's not my favorite part, it's just I always like this because it's got that nice little homely Hey, you've been on a long journey, how about you rest now? Relax, relax, you deserve it! You deserve it! Okay, you deserve it, just, just relax. So I'm going to pause right here because this will be a totally different part. So as of now, we are done with all battles. 